you two have been working on the application DDD sample that should work as some kind of reference implementation for domain driven design. What was your ambitions when started working on it? Was it like, to show the correct way of doing it? Uh, well, no, it's uh, more of a, as a uh, you call it uh, reference implementation, but it's, it, uh, well, it's, we call it sample application because it's just, you know, one way to do it. Uh, we're using a fairly widespread uh, domain, the cargo shipping, which is, uh, of course, in Eric Evans' book, uh, and so on, and trying to use uh, fairly standard, widespread, middle-of-the-road Java frameworks to kind of complement all the theory that's, you know, in the books and uh, from derived from uh, discussion groups on online and so on, kind of get all that together into a fairly realistic um, stack or an, an application, a, a kind of a cross-section of a, of a larger application to show all, all parts, uh, how it might look uh, for that domain and given that technology to stack those uh, selections of frameworks. So it's a little so bit on. of... A little bit of each. Getting, getting a, all the pieces together to actually show what an entire yeah. application would look yeah, like. kind of that. All the way from a you know, web service or some other uh, interface down to the database and with some messaging and so on. Kind of tie it all together to have something to look at. Yeah, it's more like the A way to do it than the way. I mean, there, there's absolutely many, many different ways that you can do this, but one of the often requested things regarding DDD is to have a full example, a, sam really a sample application that shows how all these pieces we can find in Eric's book and we talk about in the classes and we talk about the conferences, how we can, you know, these are small details, important ones, uh, and, and, and patterns and things like that, but there's never really been a, a really big example on how can we put all these things, pieces together, you know, to get the complete picture, and we just wanted to have a way to do that. So the choices of technology is not to, these are not the technologies that support DDD the best necessarily. No, it's more like we, we wanted to go with Java because both Peter and I is Java developers, mm -hmm. uh, so that came natural in that way. But then we wanted something that was fairly established already, something that people, most people have been used and were, were used to, to working with. So the technology itself shouldn't come in the way of actually understanding how to put the, the application together, how the different pieces of the main of the mind fits into the application. So the step in of the technology should be low so you can get to the point. Exactly. Yeah, but at right. the same time we wanted a technology stack that supported DDD in a way that perhaps Java technology stacks in the past hasn't done. So yeah. when you designed or designed chose what to put in this DDD sample application, not I have heard that there are lots of ideas of that this should be in the sample or not. Right. How do you make the choice of what will go into the application or what will not go into the application? Uh, well, of course, the goal is to illustrate as many of the various building blocks, the design patterns uh, that are used uh, in DDD, uh, as many of them as possible. So we, we want you know, entities, value objects, services of all kinds, application services, domain services, uh, factories, um, all of these things. And we want to be able to show uh, things like asynchronous updating of, of different aggregates um, by, you know, having a message-driven uh, architecture and so on. So it's basically, uh, we want it to be, it's a tool for, uh, for education, first and foremost. Uh, so we want to we cover as much of DDD as possible in order to, you know, use it at tutorials or courses or things like that. Uh, so that's really the, the uh, driving force behind it. Selecting what parts, um, what I parts you want to implement. Both, both of you have obviously put uh, a lot of work and energy into this. Both right. before that, uh, introducing DDD to Sweden and spreading the word, and now spending a lot of time on this application that must take a lot of hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what what drives you? Well, I don't know. A love of. Uh, <laughs> The love of uh, software development, really. You know, we we both think that domain-driven design is a very, you know, it's a inspiring way to to work with software, and we 
we have we've been working as consultants for many years and we've identified all kinds of problems uh, out there you know at, at the assignments various companies and we think that domain driven design has a lot to offer in order to how to solve this and uh, and simply build better software so we want to kind of spread the word and get as many people as possible interested in in domain driven design and so Ob obviously I have gained some traction um, the DDD sample has been one of the longest running threads on the DDD Sweden list you're now at JFocus I know that you've been invited to QCon as well yeah. had you imagined that you would get that kind of response well, or at we least were, hope for it yeah we were, <laughs> of course uh, being a uh, like I said, uh, part of a, a kind of a evangelical, uh, you know, we want as, mu and ma as many people as possible to, to be interested in the major in design. We want to teach it, we want to kind of build interest and so on. So, of course, it's very welcome to, to be invited to J Focus and QCon and things like that. But, um, and of course, having Eric Evans' name kind of as part of this and he's been involved in, mainly with in uh, working with the domain domain layer kind of of the application um, so I mean we're very happy of course but uh, yeah mm -hmm. no. I, I happen to know that there are other implementations coming up uh, I know that uh, Rika Daba is working on one for uh, using Key4J um, will that uh, can get ahead of the reference implementation, or will the reference implementation be the best DDD implementation ever? Well, it might be the best DDD implementation ever <laughs> on the very specific technology stack that we found. I mean, we have got a lot of input for the community and uh, a lot of thoughts and new ideas that we've put into to the evolution of this application. So hopefully it's, you know, it's pretty good in what it does. But on the other hand, if someone like Rickard really you know, takes it sort of a different approach, saying that, okay, well, th there are some issues here that we really can't resolve with what we have today in regards to t technology. And I want to fix that by more or less creating a new language uh, mm. geared towards solving DDD-related kind of problems. I really, really, I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I mean, he has very good, uh, uh, there's a good reason to believe that he will be very successful in that approach. He's a bright guy, and, and if you start actually working with a technology that is tailored to solve these problems, you probably should have, uh, well, yeah, I sincerely hope that it drives by, I mean, because that would be, that would be really cool to so, see. So the reference implementation will work as like the starting point on Springboard from where other experiment can... Yeah, launch. hopefully. Very excited about, about seeing what happens in that, in that area, especially since we did deliberately choose technologies that were sort of below the road things mm -hmm. that people would recognize. If you now take something that's really, really made to handle these issues specifically, something hopefully much better mm -hmm. can be achieved and, and, and that we can drive innovation in that area and that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool. I happen to know that he's looking forward to the next version of, of DDD sample that is on right. its way. What mm -hmm. are, are then the major leaps that are made from the first version to the second one? Well, there are mainly, let's say, uh, there are structured, structural changes. We're moving things between layers and having a much clearer picture of what, uh, what consists of what an, uh, what an application service is and versus the main service. Mm. A much more uh, uh, well thought out uh, motivation, at least. I'm not saying it's the correct one. It's uh, fairly yeah, well but it, debated. But it is a distinction a, that has been yeah. confused in uh, the society. Right. And... Uh, well, we've pushed a lot of things that were previously kind of hanging. We didn't really know what to do with them. We've kind of pushed those things uh, out to the in interface layer as well. Uh, we have a few more inter interfaces, especially for registering handling events. Uh, there are some changes in the domain model. Um, a couple of new classes, some have changed names and so on. But I think the most important change between 1.0 and the next release, I think it's 1.1 1, 1 .1 probably, okay. um, is the asynchronous uh, updating of different aggregates. Mm -hmm. When the handling event is registered, we have the handling event aggregate which is updated synchronously in one transaction. 
and then the uh, cargo aggregate, which is uh, of course affected uh, by this registration, is updated asynchronously. So the That's partitioning the major, of right, the domain is, into it's much, subdomains. much clearer now. So uh, that feels nice. So, and there are lots of minor changes, but uh, yeah, we're fairly happy with it this far. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks.